What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you GLS content today. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right. Well, I haven't done a GLS video or GLG, GLX video in a while. Uh, and that's because there hasn't really been anything going on as the token prices will dictate. You can see GLX here at 1.8 cents and GLGT at 3 cents. Uh, so these things have done pretty much what I've expected them to do for tokens that are airdrop without any utility and not even a game. But there is some cool stuff around the corner in Q2. So I wouldn't snooze too much on it. Uh, I'm not saying to go out and ape into these tokens. Uh, I am just saying that they should have some use, hopefully soon, once the game is up and running. And we do know that there is a June 6th kind of deadline that the team has self-imposed and uh, that the game should, the full game launch should be out by then, right? Uh, or at least that is what the hope is with the the kind of like proposal that came through to extend or not not really extend but add more pack uh rewards for uh, pack staking so the main reason i'm doing this video now is because we just crossed a major milestone in my opinion we have minted over 100 million glx tokens we're actually closing in on 101 million of that 73 million is currently staked or are currently staked we've burned a little over 8 million and you got about 19 million that are liquid now I wanted to do kind of like a token snapshot, a perspective uh, on where we are at, what we can expect. So I got the, the white paper open here and you can see if we just go through this very quickly, here's, here's the tokenomics, obviously a 2 billion supply, but big, big part of that is locked up for future partnerships. 1.4 million, that's actually 1.38 million now. So if we just do some quick math here uh, and I am looking in a time frame that encompasses the next, uh, we'll call it seven to eight months by the end-ish of November. And the reason for that is because that will be the end of both the staking rewards, which go for 12 months, and the airdrop, which go for 12 months. You can see just from those two alone, right, we got 100 million tokens plus another 100 million tokens. That's 200 million right there. Uh, the LP rewards are not into effect. We're going to come back to the validator rewards, although those just started this month. Uh, the DAO, I'm not sure if that is live or not. Either way, I it's again, there's only 19 million staked. Actually, there's only 19 million liquid. This would technically count as liquid unless the DAO decided to stake. So I don't think that this has actually been activated yet. We're going to ignore that for now. So all we have left are the GLG play to earn rewards, of which we know there are 15 million. Uh, tokens that they took out and then there was an additional 20 million that they pulled out of the future partnership something that i was actually very much against and still am but i was outvoted so that's what it is so 235 million tokens is what we can expect from those areas and then going back to the validator rewards we have 100 million tokens uh, let's do the whole thing here divided by 65 months which means we get roughly 1.5 million per month and so i would say between now and uh and again they've started paying out mid uh mid march so if we go from now march all the way to november we can multiply this by roughly eight months to get 12.3 ish million again uh, we're gonna we're gonna just round this up to make it nice and easy we're gonna say 15 ish million by the end of the year uh although obviously that's that's overextending it a little bit but that nice 15 number plus the 235 gets us to roughly 250 million tokens <clears throat> excuse me now we do know that lp rewards may go live uh, at Q3 was the initial estimate, although they say that they might bring that up into Q2 just because we had that whole liquidity thing uh, that happened um, just a couple weeks ago. So I would say anywhere from 250 to, I don't know, 275 might be a safe place to look at where, uh, you know, the GLX total supply could be by November or the end of the year. So we're already at 40% of that. And keep in mind that you know, the LP rewards, the validator rewards, even when the LP rewards go live, this is going to take a while. It's only going to be adding like, what, what did we say? 1.5 million for validator, 1.5 million for LPs. So that's like 3 million, three and a half million per month. Again, it's not at the same rate of something like Splinterlands, which, you know, we're getting a million per day, a million tokens per day. And as, as long as the future partnerships doesn't get touched again, and again, uh, unless it's something awesome, I will vote against anything that tries to pull it out that's not for a partnership. So uh, that's just that's just where I stand. Um, what I'm looking at is the fact that we already have uh, almost 40% or over 40% of what we can expect by the end of the year. Now, what makes this really exciting for me is because what we want to see are two things, right? We want to see 
uh, supply constrained for good reasons, meaning that, you know, partnerships are the only reason that we should unlock any of that that is uh, kind of set aside by the Dow. And number two, we want to see demand increase for the game and for any other future games that are launched on the project. So for me, what I really like about this, and I, I know there's 2 billion, right? But we're already at 100, 101 million tokens out of the 250 that are set aside till the end of the year for GLX, or for, sorry, for GLG, the goals game. That makes me sad. Again, I'm not saying that the, the price is going to pump. Obviously, I'm hopeful that there will be enough and significant utility for the GLG game that brings the price back to a respectable level. But the fact that we are already kind of like, you know, um, we're already 40% of the way through. And obviously, as we go throughout the next couple of months, that will only continue to increase uh, in terms of overall percentage. I'm kind of excited to see where GLX could be as a, the, the GLX value could be by the end of Q2, end of Q3. I, I mean, again, we're, we're hopefully going to get the game, which will bring that utility in. But over the next three months, even if we don't get the game until like June as uh, originally scheduled or as, as is currently scheduled, um, you know, we're, we're going to dump a lot more GLX on the market. I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't be surprised if it continues to go lower. I think there's just massive sell-off. Whenever people get stuff for free, they're just going to sell it off. So, um, and obviously a lot of that's going to depend on the, uh, on the macro factors as well and what Bitcoin decides to do. Again, none of this financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying that I wouldn't be surprised if zero utility for the next three months plus more supply coming in, just being airdropped to people, ends up in more sell pressure, meaning the value of the token goes down. So to me, the next three months are going to be or continue to be boring from a tokenomics perspective, but hopefully fun and exciting from a game perspective. If we can start to see the, the beta, they've talked about pack openings coming soon. So again, from a GLX standpoint, though, I wouldn't be surprised to just let this thing like for me, I'm just going to I'm just going to let it stake, stake and restake, claim and restake. That's all it's going to do. But it's the second half of the year where hopefully things will start to get really exciting. Once the game is is fully launched in June, hopefully June 6th. And, uh, you know, we we have our, our kind of wind beneath our wings, essentially, and start, you know, hopefully the, the campaigns to get more people into the space, all the stuff that they do with the MLS. You know, I, I wanted the game to come out at the beginning of the MLS season. But as long as it comes out by like summertime, People always get more excited at the end of the season anyway as we approach, uh, you know, the playoffs and seeding and all that. So it could still be an exciting time as we go into Q3. But ultimately, just wanted to give that little snapshot that we're about 40% of all the GLX that should be minted by the end of the year or by November-ish. Uh, so again, is that a lot? I would say it's significant. It's not a lot, but it's definitely significant. And so we'll see where things go. But for me... You know, you can choose to sell and maybe buy back, buy in lower. You can choose to sell and then go buy Splendor and stuff. I know a lot of people are doing that that don't really care about this. Uh, but for myself, I'm just hitting that restake button every single day. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How are you viewing this? Do you care about the price? Do you not care about the price? Are you excited about the game? Obviously, this, this video is very much focused on the tokenomic side of things. But uh, I personally am excited for the game and to see what will come of it. Um, and, uh, you know, the token stuff is going to take care of itself once there is actual utility. But for now, for now, it's just another game that launched a token before the game was out. So... It is what it is. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.